Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, hi. Hello. Oh, hello there. Well, uh, yeah. This is, this is Senator thank Collins. You. Thank you. you for having me. Uh, no, it's no problem. I was, we were just wondering, uh, you know, it's it's Maine's birthday recently in March. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to know if you had anything to, to well, tell us about Maine. that's right, Jimmy. That's right. As you know, March 15th is Maine's birthday. And that's right. We were once part of Massachusetts. Did you oh. know that? No, no, that's a new one on me. I'm sure no, nobody in the audience knew that either, except... Well, you know. March 15th, on that day in 1820, some people in Boston said, you know what? We can be bigger assholes than this. Let's make a new state and call it North Bigger Asshole. Oh, well, that, that doesn't seem like a good name. Well, we later changed it to Maine because we didn't have enough ink. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. North bigger asshole. What's the, uh, you know, Maine has a lot of uh, industry. What, uh, what's, what's it, what are you the world's largest producer of? Well, as you know, Jimmy. Maine is the world's largest producer of potatoes. Did you know that? Well, that's another thing I did not know about Maine. Well, yes, but ev with everybody dying and supply lines cut, we are literally swimming in potatoes here in Maine. And as always, Mainers are handling this crisis with determination and creativity. Instead of throwing our potatoes away, we donate them to our senior living facilities where orderlies stick the potatoes in our seniors' mouths and up their bungholes and then hang them upside down with a lobster hook and let the kids beat them senseless with bats <laughs> until grandma explodes like a fucking pinata. <laughs> Oh, that sounds nice. You know, Maine sounds like a great place to live. Maine? Does, yeah? Yes, the mediocre <laughs> state of Maine. Well, you know, you got to strive for something better. You know, if, if you're at the top of any list, uh, it's no fun. Does the, the, Do the Collins family, do they believe in Medicare for all? No, Jimmy, the Collins family does not believe in Medicare for all. We're what is proud, that? Well, we're proud do-it-yourselfers. You don't want to have a kid do what I did. Fall down a flight of stairs after your father pushes you. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. That is That's good. That's the main way. That's the main way. That is good advice. Thank you. Oh, you want to go to the next thing? Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, I heard I heard Bob Dole was uh, the Doles were at your uh, wedding night. Oh, and where did you hear that? I don't know. It's right on this paper page of notes, basically. Well, I'll tell you the story. Oh, did you okay. know on my wedding day? Bob Dole and Elizabeth Dole gave me and Tom a $400 silver serving dish. Oh, that's nice. Well, yeah. Tom was so sexually inexperienced, he actually thought it was my diaphragm. I can't go through the airport security without <laughs> setting off the metal detector. Jesus. It's not the serving dish I mind so much. It's the tea set he put on top of it. Oh, oh, that that's... spout still surprises me when it slips out of my pouch. What am I, a goddamn kangaroo? <laughs> With a husband like that, it's no wonder I never had any children. Wow. <laughs> you know, 
my husband, Tom, he's a real romantic. He oh, said, I reminded him of the ocean. And I said, you mean wild and salty? And he said, no, you make me sick. Well, it, it sounds like a bad experience there. Well, let's talk about Mainers. Let's talk about Mainers. Mainers. We're full of, yeah. Okay, we're full of potatoes. But did you know it's easy to spot a Mainer by their face? Because it's always covered in lobster bites. I keep telling them you're supposed to boil the damn thing before you eat it. But they oh. never listen. Mainers aren't problem solvers. Oh, that's what they, they should probably listen to you more on that one. That sounds dangerous. We just don't give a shit. What's your big, you know, you're big on how's the child care doing in Maine? I'm against vaccinating babies with fluoride, Jimmy. But I am for fluoridating vaccines with babies. <laughs> Fucking babies. I hate them. Uh, uh, Did you they, know that Maine is famous, though, for its dairy products? I had heard about that, yes. Well, that's right. In Maine, you can even buy organic goat milk soap. Now Mainers have an excuse for smelling like goats, other than the fact that they sleep with them. <laughs> wow, you're not painting a, a not very nice picture of Mainers. Well, did you know why Mainers have so much sex with goats? No. Because the goats pay better. Oh, I okay. Well, what what do you call a smart person in Maine, Jimmy? Uh, I don't know what. A visitor. Well, that makes <laughs> sense. Why? Makes... Because I'm an insufferable asshole. Okay, well, I've heard that said about you before. Yeah, oh. well, did you know that Maine has no standards for its drinking water? I did know that, yes. Well, that explains my steady diet of moose blood and grain alcohol, or as Mainers call it, a, a bloody bullwinkle. Wow. <laughs> There's a reason, though, why Maine don't, Mainers don't care about their drinking water, because oh, moose urine is free. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, Senator Susan Collins, for uh, lightening the, the day and the night for all of us and making us feel better about our lives. Is Susan well, going to run for president? Well, I haven't really thought about it, but... Maybe someday. I mean, you are known as the most bipartisan senator uh, in in Maine. I am. Yes, one million people in Maine. You have a lot of power. <laughs> well, maybe you could run with the Santas. Well, I suppose. What do you call a person in Maine who doesn't have explosive diarrhea? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. A visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Did well. you know I found out that my diarrhea is hereditary? <laughs> no, no. Well, of course it is. It runs in my genes. Uh, you know, this is, you really are not setting a good example, a good image for the state of Maine. Mainers are very, very proud. And this kind of publicity is, is not a good reflection on the work ethic and the can-do attitude of Maine. No response, huh? What do you get when you cross a dick with a potato? I, I, I think a dictator. Oh, so you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not even the right response to my response. 
It, it doesn't matter. Do you know? Do you know how to tell the difference between an oral and a rectal thermometer? No. Oh, so you're the one. <laughs> I have everything a man could want. Muscles, a mustache, tattoos. Now you're just going through Leonard Barr's old stand-up act. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into my ex-boyfriend the other day and he told me my stockings were wrinkled. I wasn't wearing any. <laughs> uh, that's, that was very impolite of him. Well, anyway, I asked my husband, Tom, if I'm the only one he's been with. And he said, yes, Susan, the others have been at least sevens or eights. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Yeah, Jimmy, the goats pay better. Well, that makes sense. Ah, uh, well, it's it's been wonderful, Senator Susan, Susan Collins. It's a great honor talking to you once again, and thank you for coming by. Thank you, Jimmy. It's been a pleasure. I'm Senator Susan Collins, and I'm full of clams. <laughs> <laughs>